what does water cost? I mean, really, what does water cost? I can go to any store and buy a bottle just like this for less than a dollar. I can go home and turn on my tap and let it run into a cup. In fact, I have so much water that I can use it on my grass. I can make ice cubes with it. I can wash my car. I can even make a slip and slide. My kids can slide down the slip and slide and play in their water all summer long. And sure, I pay a little bit for the water, but the truth is there is so much water. It is everywhere that I don't even think about it. You know, the Holston Conference has a wonderful home for children in South Sudan. But due to unrest and civil war, these wonderful orphans have been displaced into Uganda. And I could tell you tons of stories, but simply said they now live in a refugee camp. Where people are struggling every day for the simple necessities of life, food, water. On Sunday, April 2nd, immediately after our second service at 12 o'clock, we're having a guest come and share with us the story about these wonderful kids from South Sudan who are now living in Uganda. And their story is hard to understand. They share a refugee camp with over 270,000 other people. And daily, the struggle for food and for water is real. I hope you'll join us this Sunday. And I hope you'll come to hear the story about these kids. Kids who sing about Jesus. Kids who are working to study every day to learn math and reading and writing. Kids who walk kilometer after kilometer every day just for some pure water. I hope you'll come. We're going to take a love offering. And we're going to work so that we can try and build a well in Uganda for these children, children who may be there for five, six, and seven years that just desperately are looking for something to drink, some nourishment, and a reminder that God loves them, and so do we. And so I'm hoping that this Sunday, instead of going out to lunch at a restaurant, instead of spending time going home and cooking a, a great meal for your family, all really good stuff, that I hope you'll come and share with us. We're going to have a light soup lunch. It'll be meager, but it'll fill you. And I hope you'll come and hear these stories. You know, the world knows, and we know, people will know that we are Christians by our love and how we share and how we bless those amongst us, the least, the last, the lost, and the thirsty. So come on out and be a part of this awesome program. We'll see you this Sunday, April 2nd, right after church, 12 o'clock in the pavilion. God bless you, friends, and we'll see you soon.